It's a potential playstyle we're going to be seeing here, man. More of an aggressive, since uh, as you can see, they can kite. Uh, well, Bren Esports out using the same umbrella, and they can go in and control the early game with the Jawhead plus the Yujong combination. So, yeah. Burmese Ghosts are really, looking really strong here, especially for game two. They have all the things that they need, a proper setup, a good initiator, a damage dealer with with uh, with a, a very good range when it comes to, or a very safe uh, range where he can just use out damage. Control with the same umbrella or the yin yang overturn. But Red Esports, again, with the comfort picks, I think it will be a very even matchup. I'm looking at 20 minutes here minimum for this game. Yes, we're here for the long game, man. Yeah, we're um, here for I the long game. I can already game. tell it. Uh, right. Like, Hayabusa is uh, one of the heroes that is supposed to be a split pusher. As we enter game number two, we might see that uh, play style. Alice wants to get into the late game. Same thing for Claude, wants to get into the late game. We're here for a long game, man. Yep, we're here for a long game. Ladies and gentlemen, game two here at the Land of Dawn. Bren Esports against Burmese Ghouls. Burmese Ghouls getting the point and also the match point here for this best of three series. Three, one, three, one setup here for Bren Esports. And uh, almost, I think this is a 2 1 2 here. Lusty oh, going ace. with the Jeet Kune Do. <laughs> Snipe out. That is a tray. One for one so far with the first blood. Still, who goes to Bren Esports? Maybe being ch uh, chasing down Carl TZ. Few wings by wings to make it out of there. Wings by wings, and maybe again still going for that one three one setup, looking for that ejector combo. But uh, look at how squeeze how uh, the position of Brand Esports here. They knew that maybe he's there on the left side, going for the concussive blast. Oh, it hurt, kid. Kids forced back. It's a two v three in mid for the Lithu Wanderer as well. Yep, securing the Lithu Wanderer additional XP. And also the movements on that river. However, here top lane flap TZ against Ruby DD. A much or better uh, matchup here. But look at this. Look at Ruby DD. It's just abusing the fact that he's almost up on his Sha Essence. Getting that. Uh, playing more aggressively, rather, as a, compared to flap TZ here. Yeah, but, flap really couldn't keep up with Ruby DD for yeah. now. But he does have the quick sand guard though. Yeah, to, to his, yeah uh, a little bit of regeneration yeah. from that one. So it's, I think it's it will be a, a, at least a, a stalemate here for, for the top lane uh, for, for Bren and BG. It maybe depends if, uh, who will get that kill first since both of them went for the Festival of Blood which is really essential for the fighters getting that additional 1% lifesteal back. Help them mid game. Ace in a scuffle here against Rebo. Goes for the shadow kill. Rebo already low on HP. Will not make it out of there as a blazing duet from Carl TZ. Actually forces Murray Schools to back off in that fight. Rebo still survives. Wow, Rebo, Rebo with the Frost Moon shield there, getting that additional movement speed just to get out of that sticky situation. Even popping the purify on top of that. Yeah, uh, and uh, I think that is enough, at least able to force three reactions, force uh, three hero reactions here for Burmese Ghouls, giving some space into the middle lane. But look at this, middle lane with the same umbrella. Yin Yang overturn did not connect though, but few able to use wings by wings just to uh, get out of this situation. And again, this entire game is all about reaching the late game mm -hmm. for both of these teams as Carl TZ, BMI is out of there just as cure. His safety turtle is up, already being started by Burmese Ghouls. Flat TZ wants to contest. Oh, they need to play carefully here. They get, they can get sandwiched by Brent Esports. However, Carl TZ is way too far. Almost half HP, 60% HP left on this turtle. Forcing. Yeah, the uh, Federal Air Strike forces may be back. Lussie low on HP, gets ejected. Alex secures that kill. Now the turtle is stolen oh, oh. by Brent Esports. Flat TZ in the back so will be able to get Jawhead view. Low on HP, falls down, flat TZ, left alive here. Rebo's just going to be on the bottom lane, pushing out. But I don't think that was worth Ooh. it, man. That was a lot of bodies falling down just for a single turtle. Yeah, just for a single turtle. It's way too... Uh, that is a good trade uh, in favor of uh, Burmese Ghouls. Again, it's okay if you if you if you can get at least that, uh, that additional golden XP for a team. But once we are able to shut down Carl TZ, 
uh, we all knew what happened every single time that Cartesi is uh, not having a good start. Is that's the uh, the weakness, or I think that's the uh, the opening that Burmese Ghost is currently waiting for. However, Cartesi able to get back. He does have the retribution, so he can uh, get or probably uh, secure those uh, objectives and also those jungle buffs in favor of uh, of uh, Brand Esports here. Um, maybe force a flicker out, Lusty. For the Jeet Kundo, they're almost connected with the Wave the Dragon. Carl Teasy uses the Blazing Duet to bring Kid down to a third of his HP pool. Oh, Kid. Almost level 6 here. And uh, it was, they can start rotating here right now. And uh, it's, it's also more of a, an even. Even Steven lineup here for Bren Esports and Burmese Ghost onto the sidelines here. However, few get stoppable fours. Wings by Wings combo got pushed back. By that flame shot, giving some time oh, for Ready Sports to go. Connects Ace. Uh, maybe. Will maybe survive this flat tease? He's gonna go down. Oh. That could that should have been a kill. Yeah, that should be a kill there. Uh, I was really expecting a more people, more players from uh, from Brand Esports to go to the top lane, but uh, I guess they will just give uh, give this top lane for free to Burmese Ghouls. Look at the net worth, ladies and gentlemen. It's not that far, but the towers. Uh, this is one of the things that you need to keep an eye on if you want to play for this kind of aggressive play style, especially for Burmese Ghouls. You just need to get every objective. Oh, the ejection onto Lusty. We'll catch him out. Rebo finally joining in on the fight. The Falling Star, Star Moon is available and already used on the Ruby DD. They managed to get the kill off the Yuzhong. That is going to be big. Turtle finally starting out by Brent Low and HP. Secured by Brent Esports. The buff is on Carl TZ. We'll go for the shadow kill. shadow kill. Ace will not manage to secure that kill. And Brent Esports will clean up the house as the last member alive forced to yeet out of there. Mid lane will finally be pushed. And Brent will take back the momentum the Burmese Ghoul had in the early game. Uh -oh. And Carl TZ still looking for blood here. D will not be able to flow blood out of there. Okay. Carl TZ. Getting his groove on right now, getting two kills, uh, so, well, in an instant. Getting his Demon Hunter sword, and I think he's about to finish his Raptor Machete right now. Plus the Magic Shoes, there we go. Calamity Repair has been picked up by Rebo after getting that Enchanted Talisman plus the Warrior Boots. Deadly Blade here for Flap TZ, which is uh, really essential if you're up against the Yuzhong here, especially on this laning phase. But that is enough for Flap TZ to secure another turret, or the, their first, uh, no, no, the second turret for the side of Bren Esports. And they might get a, uh, might get a third here as D Ooh. erased from the top lane, but they managed to erase Carl Teezy near the turtle pit on the bottom side of things. Yeah, but look at Burmese Ghouls here. Just, they're ready to trade this uh, th this turrets away from the top lane, but the most important uh, uh, turret for me is the middle lane because it, once that middle lane has been destroyed, it is easier for your, uh, for your team to get in and occupy the jungle area, which is what they're doing right now. Just cutting up the, la the lanes. Three members here from uh, Burby's Ghouls just grouping up together here in the bottom lane. But there's no reaction from Brent. They knew that uh, there are three heroes. There are possibly two or more heroes in the bottom lane. Oh, look at this though. Big rotation from Brent to go for the bottom lane and the last hurdle of the game for now. Rebo will not be committing the Falling Star Mode just yet. Wave the Dragon. No, can do. Gets ejected out of there. Force the Jeet Kundo out. Flow of Blood almost connects on to Lussie, but a turtle. Being started off by Brent, and it will finally be secured once again by Carl TZ. Carl TZ is getting the third turtle on his hands here. Uh, it doesn't matter if uh, if the uh, KDA is not is quite even, but look at the gold here: five thousand six hundred compared to five thousand, almost five thousand two hundred uh, for the Hayabusa for Ace here. So going straight to BOD. Uh, you need to keep an eye and respect that BOD as well, and especially on the hands of higher boosts. Oh, you want shadow kill? Why did you even decide to go inside to? Oh, that's uh, well, uh, maybe a high risk play. What he's trying to to go is uh, is maybe possibly try to kill few, but few's HP is way too uh, well. It's not that within the threshold to be uh, played aggressively for. But uh, Bren feeling the groove now again with the ejector. 
Ejector onto Lussie, Blazing Duet, disappear the minion waves. Oh, look at that. Low, gets the wave, the Dragon Connection. Takes down the Jawhead. Ruby DD next in line here. It's a three man press. Make it at four. Carl TZ rejoining the fight. Will out sustain Ruby DD as they manage to turn things around. It's now a one for three trade. They take down Flap TZ, but at what cost? They also take down the Hayabusa. They take down Show two for far, two for fourth raid. Yeah, it's it's well really favorable for 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 Brand Esports there. I'm not sure why Burmese Ghost decided to go for that e fight. Look at that bait there. And maybe will not survive that. Definitely, oh. D goes down as well. And these are the things that you don't want to give Brand. You don't want to give them easy kills. You don't want them easy control of the entire map because as soon as you do, they will steamroll their way in towards your base. We're seeing the tier the top lane inhibitor and the mid lane inhibitor turret left standing as the lord is spawning in a couple of seconds brent has a good positioning to secure the lord for themselves i completely agree there as you can see both four members here after taking down this tier one turret into the bottom lane they will try to uh, to take down the lord lord is quite already there jumping uh from that one limping rather or but then again Brimis Ghost knew that uh, know that uh, the rest of Brand Esports are going for the turtle, or rather going for the Lord, 50% HP. And also the Fretted Airstrike has been used just to zone out any other people hiding from that tier 2 brush. But that is a successful takedown for Brand Esports. They will take down the Lord. They will play it as safe as possible. Burmese Ghost will not want to give away an inch to Brand Esports as they siege up the tier 2 turret. Lord's marching over in mid. Feathered airstrike to clear the minion waves to bring things a little bit faster towards this inhibitor turret. And Siege, a lot of lane priority here for Brent Esports on the bottom lane. They need to start pushing the top lane as well so that they can complete the Siege here on towards the base. Yep, and look at this. Just how Lusty delayed the minion wave there. Just to make sure to, uh, that the Lord will be delayed for a little bit. And now Lusty moving forward. Trying to get someone out of the way oh, for the Black Dragon. Yeah, Black Dragon over the back lines, but maybe getting a brunt of the damage there with the Blazing Duet. Rebo will secure that kill. Few will go for Ruby DD Flap. Easy or Rebo? Who's it gonna be? Still gonna be Carl Teasy. Ace, Force, Quad Shadow out of there. Kit alone, as well as the this Ooh. mid lane turn is going down. Just one but more hit one more from hit. Lusty. And Brand, they're sieging this up, man. Yeah, They're man. looking to end this as much as fast as they can. They do have the minion and the wave clear on their side. D goes in when goes for the winter truncheon. Not a lot of damage on that. Alice though will get deleted immediately by that far side. Maybe on the back line. Get the ejection. Might actually turn things around. Maybe an ace left alive. Well, it's just ace alone now. Maybe well now he's still alive. I'm not sure what I'm saying right now. Maybe Silk maybe might get the <laughs> kill, and he does get the kill. But this is still Brent Look at trying to fight for the lives. Few and Brent and Flap and Rebo force a game number three. Man, no man, I, I, I'm not sure which part of the fight I was actually looking at. Top lane, it's up up up, up against Jawhead, and uh, well maybe he's right there, and also the middle.